Hello, my name is Tia, and my project portrays abusive language directed to transgender people on Korean Twitter. To stop the abusive language usage against transgender people, I thought that it is tremendously important to raise awareness of what is exactly going on. Um, some may say that exhibiting hate speech for body without censorship could be viewed as a social taboo, and my project will definitely make people feel uncomfortable. But as a Twitter user, I was really astonished by the amount of hate speech on Twitter. And I strongly believe that such shock can never be felt through circumlocution. So I hope that my project to create a new understanding that will lead to creating greater social pressure on stopping the use of abusive language happening in the social blind spots. So for this project, I have um, used a programming language called Python and gather 200k tweets with the keyword transgender. That's how my data looks like. And then I use a blacklist comprising of abusive words to filter out abusive tweets, such as disgusting and hate. And after this um, list of tweets have been gathered, I have read through them manually to really find out true abusive tweets with a total of 889. Then I further classified this using an abusive language scale of 1 to 5, from weak to strong. I have allocated one more point for each if the tweet is directed to an individual, and one more point if more than one keywords are used in each level. So using this data, I have created an interactive infographic embedded on the website using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Editor X and an introduction page that prepares the users to see the main infographic. This is the introduction text, and by clicking here, we'll lead you to the main page. I will explain how to read this chart. So each bubble here represents one abusive tweet, and the size of bubble represents exposure, meaning number of replies plus likes plus retweets plus quoted tweets. Tweets that have not been translated have no stroke no outline, and translated tweets are stroked. And color categorization has been applied to indicate what the tweet is talking about in terms of event. X-axis is a date written, and Y-axis is the abusive language scale that I have mentioned earlier, one being the weakest, five being the strongest in terms of aggression. And when a user hovers onto the bubble, they can see the row tweets. And if you look at here, um, you can see some footnotes. See the number 11 here? These are the words that Korean or English users will have difficulty comprehending because these are context-specific words or slangs. I have not translated some words into English, but left it as an original Korean text because these words are impossible to directly translate accurately as there is so much information inside. So in this kind of case, the user can refer to the pop-up here to see the glossary at any time. So underneath the chart, there are some infographics that provide interesting information that I want people to know. So this is the number of news mentioning transgender people every year. It's in the increasing trend, but compared to the number of news mentioning BTS, which is a symbol of Korean pop culture, it is very insignificant. And this is the infographics regarding transgender people and violence and also their mental health. So moving on, there are lots of abusive tweets have created during this time period. So something must have happened, right? So two key events have happened at the same time in January 2020. One, a transgender student enrolled into a woman's university and two, a transgender soldier got forcefully discharged after getting the transition surgery. These two events piked up the public's interest on transgender along with abusive responses. Transgender students decided to withdraw from the school after seven days due to the abusive speech online, saying that she was afraid of voices of opposition. As you can see, virtual world and physical world are interconnected, affecting each other. And that is why intervention on the discussions on social media 
may be critical at this stage. Um, moving on. Oh, and you can click onto this news to read about um, these events in more detail. Lastly, call to action. This section introduces what kind of action could users take to make difference in society. They could share a hashtag, change their profile, sign a petition, or write an email to the nearby politicians. So that is it for my um, website. So to sum up, my project will shock the users by the size and the level of aggression on social media. And the users would learn more about transgender issues and responses around them. And raise awareness on this matter, which will lead to creating social pressure on stopping the use of abusive language. And lastly, engender users to take active actions for active interventions. So this is it for my demo slash explanation video. And thank you so much for following through.